Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and I want to talk to you today about fat burning and the best way to do it. The human body is very fuel efficient. It unfortunately uses fat as an energy source of last resort and would rather burn your muscle tissue as a source of energy, so you have to do things in a certain way. First off, when you exercise, the first energy your body uses is the food you've eaten most recently, so that food you've had for dinner uh, has to be burnt off before you even think about burning fat. After you've used all the fuel in your bloodstream from your most recent meal, your body then uses something called glycogen, which is energy stored as sugar in your muscles and liver. Your body has the ability to convert this into readily available energy, so after you burn off your last meal, you have to burn the glycogen that you've stored in your muscle tissue. When a marathon runner runs a marathon, he actually will eat pasta for two or three days before a marathon to fill his muscles full of glycogen so he can run a whole marathon without having to stop and eat. Only after you've used your most recent meal, only after you've used the glycogen in your muscle, are you actually out of energy and then your body has to burn itself for energy and it has a choice of either burning fat tissue for energy or burning muscle tissue for energy. And again, unfortunate, it's much easier to burn muscle tissue and your body will utilize this usually as the next source of energy. So you're actually not even burning fat most of the time that you're exercising, you're actually burning your muscle tissue. The best way around this is to exercise on an empty stomach to fat burn. So you don't eat late in the evening, wake up on an empty stomach and that's going to be the time where you're going to be the most empty. Your most recent meal is gone. Most of the glycogen stores in your muscle tissue has been burned overnight to help you survive and you more quickly will run out of energy and be able to burn muscle or fat tissue. The next thing that you have to keep in mind is that you need to exercise at a much slower pace. So a typical cardio exercise may be 160 beats per minute to exercise heart rate. Uh, for fat burning, you really need something closer to 120 beats per minute. It's kind of difficult to get used to that slower pace, but once you know what your heart rate is and you feel what that is, you can keep that pace fairly comfortably and go a little bit slower. The reason is, is that you need significant amounts of oxygen in your system to be able to burn fat. And when you're doing cardio training, you don't have enough time to have oxygen in your bloodstream and enough time to metabolize fat into energy. So do your exercise 120 beats a minute. A good way to know if you are in the fat burning zone is, is if somebody called you and you could carry on a two minute conversation without the person on the other line saying, what are you doing when you're talking like that and breathing funny, that's because you're in oxygen depth and that means you're not burning fat. So if you could carry on a simple conversation without having to catch your breath, then you know you're in aerobic or oxygen uh, type of exercise and more likely burning fat. The longer you exercise, obviously, the more fat you're going to burn. So when I get the question, should I exercise 20 minutes a day or 40 minutes every other day, you're actually better off exercising every other day because it may take you 10 or 15 minutes to burn off the last energy stores in your body before you actually start fat burning. So if you exercise for 20 minutes, you might only be doing 5 or 10 minutes of fat burning, whereas if you exercise for 40 minutes, you still have that 10 minute lead in, but now you're doing 30 minutes of fat burning towards the end of it. The last thing that you may want to do that can help you getting up in the morning, empty stomach, trying to exercise, obviously not the easiest thing in the world, is have a little bit of caffeine if it's okay with your doctor and you don't have any health issues. You can have a cup of coffee in the morning. I prefer an energy drink. A cup of coffee kind of gives you a sick stomach in the morning, but an energy drink is mostly caffeine and it's easy to take on an empty stomach. The two things that caffeine does for you is it speeds your metabolism, helps you burn more fat, and the other thing it does is it lets you go a little bit longer with exercise. If you've got some in your system, you may go 45 minutes instead of 35 minutes before you get tired. Look forward to seeing me in other videos. We're going to talk about cardio in another visit, and we're also going to talk about how to muscle build and weightlifting in another visit. Thanks for tuning in. Dr. Greg Castello. Have a good day.